Hello. I'm expecting great things from you. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Remember, treat the document with care. It's a fragile piece of our history. over here if you want to live and watch out for the mines uh, lock and load they'll be here any second the wasteland will forget you ever exist hang tight there's always a second wave Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Only problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. Simple. We pool our resources, grab the declaration, then make for Rivet City and split the reward. I've studied the plans of this place, so without me, you're going to go in circles. What do you say? Smart move. Okay, the declaration is secured in the Archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password, let's get going. Stay focused, and we may just get through this.
Men, today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached, and soon we'll engage the enemy. They kept the declaration in the Archive strongroom that's at the end of the East Wing here. We'll have to Remember, make our way to it. Men, we can't let the enemy's progress dissuade us from the time. And utility gates to bypass security, and if you can get right through them. be independent! Strike now, and strike hard. There you are. Were you trying to hide from me? generator is somewhere in this room. Disable it, and it should make our lives easier. We cannot allow the enemy to penetrate our defenses any deeper. Old glory must not be stained with the blood of tyranny. Defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The Declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope, the one thing that cries out we are a free nation. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Petty lies and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown, but I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that.
sir, are a liar, a fraud, and likely a spy of the royal... Interesting. I had a plan for just this sort of situation. Perhaps this will prove that you're here as an ally rather than an enemy. We create a forgery of the Declaration and send it off to Great Britain. It might be just the delay we need to get the document out of here safely. I'd love to be at court when King George finds out he wasted all his resources gaining a forgery. We have to be cautious, though. The British scholars would recognize a poor duplicate almost immediately. If you were to bring me some iron gall ink, I could produce a mirror perfect duplication. The best place to find some would be in the Arlington Library, which is why I have been unable to do this myself. After all, I can't abandon these fortifications. Excellent. Please hasten back. There's no telling how much longer we can hold here at the fort. I hear the thumping of the cannonade getting closer by the minute. Soon our walls will be breached and the last bastion of the USA may fall. I've got one! Look out! Area secure. Make no mistake, your father... Saints alive! You've done it! Quickly, let me have the ink and I will produce the copy of the Declaration of Independence. Here you are, 
A perfect copy. That should give old George something to think about. What are the next orders from the Congress? It will be done. The only way to get the declaration now would be to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. It's been an honor meeting you. I can see you are indeed a patriot among men. Now go. You'll have no further trouble from my men. Godspeed. I'm expecting great things from you. Oh, my lord, I never expect... I mean, I'm utterly shocked. You two have earned your places in the annals of American history. Yes, indeed. You will be remembered for this great day. I will award Sydney's promised bounty to her personally. No need to worry yourself about that. Enjoy your reward, my friend. You've earned it. What's up?